everybody, Jake here for Dude Ranch DIY. I just got home from work and it is already 3.45 in the afternoon and the sun is almost completely down. It's pretty depressing. Um, so we're not gonna be talking much in this one. We got some rounds cut up behind us, not many, but again, we don't have much time. I'm gonna get everything fired up here and we're gonna be splitting into the dump trailer here. We gotta make some firewood while the sun is still up. So hope you guys enjoy. that's everything that's all of the ash rounds at least I got a couple maple rounds over there 
and a couple more maple chunks over here. These aren't really cut to size. I actually don't remember where they came from, um, but that's all the ash. Um, didn't need it today, but the tool to break the chain finally came in. So when and if that happens uh, for the conveyor, if it throws the chain again, we will be prepared. Um, now the moment of truth, let's go over to the dump trailer. Just a couple pieces it looks like fell out. All right, let's see. And we made it and it's still light. So now we can do a little talking. All right, well, for one guy, that's not too bad. Um, you know, front's not filled up, but it's probably about, oh, I don't know, at least one full large tote, if not a little bit more, a couple more pieces over here so yeah there we go have a look that is what we got so for me just being by myself can't really complain too bad now it was just thanksgiving hope everybody had a good thanksgiving um this video is probably going to come out well after thanksgiving but Hope you had a good Thanksgiving anyway. Over the long Thanksgiving weekend, I unfortunately I was planning splitting a bunch of wood, but I had four days, two of which were basically encompassed by spending time with the family. And the other two days, pretty bad weather. So um, it was like raining, it was warm, but it was raining. Didn't really get much done. What I did get done though, was I brought home some more wood. So I actually just brought this home today, um, just from work and you can see here, all of this new stuff is all ash. It is all completely barkless and it is all dry as a bone. So the pile of ash was kind of getting low. I put out some feelers. Uh, you, well, by this point, you've seen the video of this getting all loaded up, but um, now it's here in the wood yard we have since gotten even more wood. There's more of that barkless maple. I've separated out this by species, basically. This is all hickory. There's one black birch log down there, but that's all hickory. And this is all maple and beech. Um, so I ended up getting two loads from that, um, from my buddy, the, the other tree guy. <laughs> We're all tree guys. But uh, from him over the weekend, um, and while it wasn't all ash, you know, we're still building that relationship. And, uh, you know, at least as far as this goes, we're friends, but um, he's just starting to get to know like what I'm looking for. And he had some stuff he had to get rid of. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. You know, it all burns. Um, but that first load that he gave me was the best load he'd given me so far of all this barkless, like dry ash. So that'll, that'll be good moving forward. Um, it's really, I gotta say, it's really nice having help, whether from Justin or Sarah or Chris, of course, Chris. Um, but having this conveyor really seems to help. I mean, like it just makes it, I might not be producing more firewood um, compared to just splitting it, you know, and letting it drop on the ground, but it it's much easier than having to throw the pieces off the end of the splitter into the asphalt millings, having them get all wet and everything. Now they're up in the dump trailer off the ground and the drying process can be can begin. Not to mention it's much easier and I do believe it's faster to stack it out of the dump trailer than off the end of the splitter or off the ground. So that's that. Um, hopefully we can get back out here tomorrow and start cutting up some more of this ash. Um, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to touch on. The MS290 Farm Boss that I converted about this time last year, um, over the winter last year, to an MS390 short block kit. That saw, may it rest in peace. Um, I brought it to, or it stopped starting uh, probably like two months ago. I tried figuring it out. I took it all apart clean the carb, you know, checked everything that I could possibly check. Um, I could get it started, but it wouldn't run right. It seemed like there was an air leak somewhere. Turns out I brought it to the local dealer and there was an air leak. The bottom of the cylinder was 
or the bottom of the block, I guess, was like leaking air the, out of the gasket there. And then the rings were leaking as well. Um, I did like the, the price out on the parts that I would need to fix it and the time it would take for me to fix the saw. And it's just not worth it. So um, that saw, you know, whatever. I got a bunch of good cords out of it. I bought it at a tag sale, I think for like 75 or a hundred bucks. So it really didn't owe me anything. Um, it was fun. It was a learning experience. Would I do it again? With the Chinese motor, um, no, probably not. Just because, you know, all the time and effort into it, I would like a saw to last longer than like less than a year after I do that. But uh, long story short, I'm in the market for a new saw. I have a couple saws in mind, but I'd like to hear your guys' feedback as to what you think a good saw for me would be. Um, keep in mind, I do do tree work. As of right now, the biggest saw that I personally own is an MS362 with a 25 inch bar. So it leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I'm not really brand specific, steel, husky, don't really care. Probably not gonna go the Holtz former route just because I use the saws so much and I really count on them like out on jobs and stuff. If I was just tinkering around doing firewood here and there, Holtz forma would definitely be an option. Certainly the price is right, but I don't feel like tinkering around with a saw um, more than I have to. I just want it to be ready to use. So really looking for probably a bigger than an MS-362 firewood saw. Um, I mean, I know everybody's gonna say the 500i. Um, they're kind of hard to get. <laughs> I talked to the dealer about them. There's a long waiting list and uh, as soon as they come in, they're sold. So I don't know. I mean, a 500i is definitely an option, but if there's any other saws out there that you think would be a good fit, 462 is something I've been thinking about, a 572 Husky, something I've been thinking about. So anyway, this is gonna be getting to be a long ending. I'm kind of rambling on, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think this was one of the first times I really filmed myself just splitting purely by myself with the conveyor and the dump trailer setup. So let me know what you guys think of that process for a one man band uh, down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing down below. Channel's been growing and uh, that's the name of the game. So questions, comments, feedback, throw it down there. You know what to do. For now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate everybody that watches and subscribes. We'll see you here next time.